This is a video tutorial on how to organize your Canvas course around Canvas announcements for remote learning. Uh, your Canvas course homepage probably looks something similar to this. Uh, to get started with this particular approach, we will create a new announcement and we'll create a new announcement for each lesson. So I'm going to click on the new announcement button on the right side. Um, on this page is where I can specify announcement. I can specify a title up here. I'm going to include, I'm going to just title my announcement the date. Um, so I'll say like lesson for Tuesday, April 7th to help students keep track of that. This is the Canvas Rich Text Editor. Um, it has all sorts of features which you can explore elsewhere. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to keep it pretty simple and I'm going to say welcome back. Uh, today's tasks focus on digital privacy and then I can have a numbered list of things I want students to do this day. So the first one is always for me complete the attendance form. And I can uh, switch over here to this other tab where I have my attendance form. And I'll click on the send button and get a link and copy it. And then I'll go back and with attendance form highlighted, I'll click on the link to URL and paste it in here to make it easy for students just to click on the link to do their attendance. All right, step two is going to be to read this article about using cell phone data to create heat maps of spring break travelers. Kind of interesting. I have the article over here. I'll highlight the link and copy the link and then I'll highlight this article and again use the link to URL to insert it. All right and step three is going to be um, the article mentions how the data is anonymous but also mentions how anonymous data can be reconnected to individuals. Find another example of anonymous data being connected to individuals and post in our discussion. Um, this is what's really nice about Canvas announcements for the discussion here. I've already created a discussion and to make it easy for students, I can link to that discussion by highlighting the words our discussion. On the right here, I can click on the discussions button and then all the discussions that I have for my course show up here and I can just click on the one that I want to link to. Um, and that makes my life easier. So I'm going to save this and that's our announcement for the first day. Um, if I go back to the home page, um, it's still that default course landing page. It's easy to change this to show the announcements instead. I can click over here on the right where it says choose home page and I'm going to pick course activity stream, the first option and save that. Now this is what students will see when they go to the Canvas course. They'll see that there's one announcement. They can click on that and they'll see lesson for Tuesday, April 7th. Just trying to make it as easy for them as possible. When it's time for another lesson, I can click on new announcement again. I can title it lesson for Wednesday, April 8th. Um, I can create a, another numbered list and say complete the attendance form again and I'm gonna to have to link to that again so I'll do that really quick copy that link and then maybe today they're actually submitting um, a, a link to a Google slide they made so I can say building on yesterday's article and discussion find two examples of local, state, or national governments that found a different balance between individual liberties and protecting their citizens from a pandemic. Create and submit a Google slide that compares and contrasts your two examples 
and includes how these governments justified their decisions. That should be interesting. Um, and I'm going to take this submit a Google slide. I'm going to highlight that. And just to make it easier for students, I've already created the assignment. So I can click on the assignments button on the right side. And I can click on individual liberties during a pandemic. And now it's linked to that as well. Um, if I wanted to post this later, I could click on this delay posting button. Perhaps I'm preparing several assignments at once and I want them to show up uh, in the morning each day instead. That's certainly an option as well. So I'm going to hit save here and go back to my home page. Um, it does take a moment sometimes for the recent activity in Canvas to be updated. So if you don't see your announcement there immediately, don't worry. It will show up momentarily. Hope this is helpful.